Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you've been here before, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to Roberto's Journals. In today's video, I'm continuing on with my three part series of my 18 month Invisalign journey from when I first had them put in up until now. And it's giving you an update throughout that time that I was unable to provide you with updates because I was busy with life. Uh, but here is an update with how it went in the 18 months to do with my teeth movement. So last time it was about my smile and how my smile progressed over 18 months. And this time I wanna to talk to you about how much my teeth have moved in that period of time. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with a video and I'm hoping to do them side by side or if not, I'll just play them one after another. But I'm gonna do a before video of what my teeth were like before I had my Invisalign put in. I think this was the night before I had my Invisalign appointment to have my first set of trays put in up until last week, so currently now. So you'll find that there is a significant difference. I can't see what you're seeing on screen at the moment, but I've seen the videos, of course, and I can already tell what a huge difference 18 months can do with wearing Invisalign. I mean, look at all of those gap closures. But anyway, we're gonna go through them bit by bit, and I wanna start off with talking about my extraction point. So as you know, or if you don't, if you didn't know, I actually had four teeth removed before I actually had braces put in, and I had four premolars removed, one in each quadrant, and that's where I had the biggest gaps in my teeth. Now, as you can see, that is where I've, I believe I've had the biggest movement with my teeth, especially in this corner here. Um, I'm pointing to the screen. <laughs> I'm pointing to the camera. I don't even know if I've got a picture or a video playing, but anyway, it's my. If you're looking at the pictures, my bottom left. Um, that extraction point was probably the biggest gap out of all of the areas in my teeth, probably my bottom two gaps actually I'd say. And as you can see, or as you saw, the gaps are now closed and that's a significant movement. I reckon that's probably a tooth worth or maybe three quarters of a tooth worth of a gap that's closed, but it took 18 months to close that gap. And as you can see, there are still gaps in my teeth but they're more towards the gum line and I don't think they'll be able to close unless I actually get my teeth filed down, which I don't think I want to do, but we'll talk about that in a second. But my bottom set of teeth are probably the biggest movement out of all of the areas of my teeth. Now, if I show you my tops, you can see that the gaps are still significant, but they're not as big as the gaps were at the bottom. And you can see as well that they've been closed quite nicely. And the upper arch, I believe, is actually quite a nice, perfect arched shape now compared to how it was before. But they closed up nicely too over the 18 months, but I think the bottoms had more work to do compared to the tops. Not only about the gaps being closed, but do you remember I was telling you in my last video about how my teeth were flaring outwards um, and how my smile changed because they now came inwards? Um, you can see from the initial photo how they were flaring out and now they're not. They are in that really nice arch shape. Um, so it's not just the gaps that are being closed to get that arch shape, but it's also getting them angled correctly too. So not only was it to get the gaps to close, not only was it to get my teeth angled correctly, but also it's the center line that needed to be corrected. Now, from my first photo, so from when I started Invisalign, you can see that my center line from my top set of teeth to my bottom was offset by one whole tooth. So that's a significant um, separation of the center point. But as you can see now, it is almost two aligned it is almost centered and aligned to my bottom set of teeth now sarah did mention to me that it's not actually going to perfectly get to that state where they're centrally aligned just because of how my teeth are she asked me if i had a problem with that and if or, or if i was okay with it and i don't have a problem with it if you actually look at it closely um you can actually see that they're off centered they're not aligned but if you look from a distance they do um, and if I look back at how they were before compared to now I mean I'm really happy with my smile now and I've got another 20 weeks to go with my um, current set of trays and it's only going to get better still um, however you can see that there are still some gaps at the gap line 
um, of the cap line. There are still some gaps at the gum line, like I told you earlier. Now, this is where um, my teeth are shaped in a triangular shape. So if you imagine, that's the shape of my tooth, teeth. And if you got them aligned next to each other, you're going to have a little gap in the middle, just like, oh, you can't see because I've got my Invisalign in. Um, I'll pop up another picture so you can see where the, where the gaps still are. Now, because of the shape of my teeth, um, I did have an option uh, where Sarah considered actually filing down my teeth um, to make them less triangular shaped and more square so that the gaps could get closer. But because of how triangular my teeth are, Sarah did say it would mean that my teeth would have to be shaved quite considerably. I think that's what she said anyway. I didn't even consider that option. I'm, I'm okay with it, um, with how they are and the gaps aren't that significant that if someone is looking at me, um, I'm conscious about it, you know, and I'm happy with it. So I don't see it being too much of a problem. Otherwise I probably would have explored options with Sarah. Actually, you know what? One thing I could do, and I did search this, I think last week, um, not because I want to get it done. I was just curious to see what, um, how much they were actually, to be honest, who am I kidding? If I, I was searching for it, but if the price, I, I was searching to see what the price was so that I know to mention it to you guys. Um, but only if it was going to be affordable, probably would have done it, but it's not. So I looked at composite bonding, which is um, filling in those gaps um, to make your smile even more perfect. Now, first of all, I've always said that people that have, not that I have anything wrong with it. I know many people who have like veneers or um, composite bonding done, but their teeth don't look entirely natural. Like if you think about all the celebrities out there that had their teeth done, you can tell that they're not their teeth, you know? And for some people, they're okay with that and people are completely happy with that and I don't have a problem with that at all. But when it comes to my teeth, I don't know if I want to have them done, mainly because I'm happy with the progress that I've had from start of my journey to now maybe by the end of this journey i probably will look into composite bonding i don't know but currently i'm okay with not having it done sorry i just had to let a family go through with their dogs i think they're can you see them yeah there they are <laughs> they're cute dogs um so i did have a look at the price and the price just to have your upper arch done perfectly with the all of the gaps closed and the composite bonding done and your teeth shaped perfectly and whitened as well it costs 1500 pounds now that's insane, and that's just for one arch. So if you wanted to have both done, that's three grand, which is almost the price of my braces and my Invisalign combined. It's crazy. It's just another investment towards your smile. And I think that's why it put me off because, I mean, you never know, I might change my mind in the future, but I'm totally okay. Actually, I'm more than okay. I am over the moon with my teeth and how they are now, and I still have 20 weeks to go. Um, but it is an option, composite bonding to get rid of these gaps that you can see or that you saw from my update videos and photos. Um, it is an option, but probably one option that I won't consider uh, just because of how expensive it is. One thing I actually do is, and I haven't done this in a while, I think I only started doing it since I started providing these um, updates to you guys again. And that's looking back at my original photos, looking back at my first vlog. Oh my goodness, if you guys haven't seen it yet, like I'll link it in the description below and I'll put one of those card things up there so you can um, you can click onto it. Um, but looking at how my teeth were back then is insane. Like my teeth were all over the place. It My, my entire mouth was a chaos. And to even think that I could even be in this position now with how my teeth are like it just it fills me with so much joy and if i could show my past self that this is what my teeth would look like even now considering i've still got 20 weeks to go um if i showed my past self that this would be my end result i'll take it in a heartbeat because i can see how happy i am with my smile now my if i could speak to myself now in the past i'd probably actually laugh at myself to think there is no way that it would even be possible to have my teeth um, how they are now. I had such low expectations about my 
teeth when I started braces, um, when I started this whole journey, I just wanted them to be straight. Um, and they were ages ago and I could have stopped there. And luckily for me, I have an incredible um, orthodontist or actually two orthodontists in Chig and Sarah who are so driven by detail um, that they help me to get, they have helped me get my smile to how it is today. And I'm forever thankful to them. And there's still 20 weeks to go. And I will be thankful to them at the end of this process. So um, yes, I have to constantly remind myself that my teeth were a mess um, beforehand, even though so many people that I know, friends, family, colleagues, they will all tell me that my teeth weren't bad and my smile was really nice already. But, you know, it's something that I was self-conscious about and I no longer am self-conscious about, which is great. So there you have it. That is how much my teeth have moved over 18 months. And like I said to you in my previous video about my smile update over the 18 months, you can use this video as a guide on how much your teeth are going to move in 18 months. So if you're starting your Invisalign journey and you know or you can see with your teeth how much they need to move, depending on how much they need to move, you could probably tell from my videos and my, my progress photos if you need around half a tooth's worth or three quarters of a tooth's worth of gap that needs to be closed, it will take 18 months. If it's less than that, it'll take less than 18 months. So you can use um, me as a guide to know how long your journey might take. And the next part and the final part of this 18 month update is going to talk to you about how I got on with my Invisalign, my actual Invisalign themselves um, and tips and tricks about how I've gotten used to them and um, bearing with them day in, day out, week in, week out. Um, some challenges that I've had with them, um, which obviously are no longer challenges now. I still experience some of these things because I'm, I'm still wearing them, but I've learned over the past 18 months how to manage them well. Uh, you've still got my update to come about what happened in my refinement. Um, so I'll talk to you about that very, very soon. Um, like I mentioned to you, I've already got 20 weeks left of my journey um, and I'm about to change into my second set of trays tomorrow. So. 19 weeks effectively um, so i look forward to sharing that update with you still got the comments video to come so keep tuned for that too if you are currently subscribed to my channel thank you so much for subscribing um, hit that notification bell if you want to be updated of when my next videos are going to come up and if you are not subscribed please 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 do consider subscribing many many videos to come and i look forward to sharing them with you and taking you along towards the latter part of my invisalign or braces and invisalign journey and more importantly i want to know about your journeys too if you are starting out on your journeys or if you are midway through, if you're at the end, I love discussing with you guys your journeys and where you are or how your experience was. And I love interacting with every single one of you guys. Okay, so that's today's update. It looks like it's about to rain. The clouds don't look particularly... Actually, no, it looks all right. Maybe just from what it looks like on, sc on screen. Okay, maybe not. But anyway, that's today's update for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. Remember to be kind and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.